Well, I hope you can hear me over this wind, because the wind doesn't stop here on the prairies. And uh, here I am, standing in the middle of an iconic prairie field, a wheat field. Except, this isn't a wheat field, and I wouldn't have known that last week. This is a barley field. And you can tell, because barley flops over and has this, these strands called a beard, whereas wheat stands straight up. I couldn't tell the difference until I got here and got a little bit of a reminder of how to recognize, okay, that's a barley field, this is a wheat field, they are not identical. So prairie agriculture is a completely different type of agriculture than the gardens that I left behind in BC. We don't have fields like this in BC. We don't have field crops. This is just a, a complete field, there's no rows and it's acres and acres of the same thing seeded. We didn't see that in BC. In BC, it's vegetables, and they're grown in rows, and it's irrigated. That's not the way that things work here on the prairies. What's good on the prairies, they have lots of land. It's cold. It's not very wet. None of these things are good for vegetables. So what they grow on the prairies is fields like this. Grasses that produce seeds or legumes. These are some of the most energy and protein-rich plants that you can grow. And they're not the kind of thing that you grow in a garden. They're field crops. I think the biggest difference that I've noticed so far between this kind of farming and the kind of farming that I left behind in BC is just how important machines are on this farm. You know, I remember making a comment back in, I don't know, May, about how so little of what we did at Amara Farm was mechanized. We were doing so much. We were hilling potatoes by hand. We were weeding by hand. We were doing almost all of it by hand. And here it's almost the complete opposite. Here almost nothing is done by hand. It's all about machines. And so I've discovered that Nathan, who's the farmer here, for him, being a mechanic is not just a useful skill, it's an essential skill. You cannot be a farmer without knowing about machines. Um, and in fact, that might be his major skill set, is that he's a mechanic. He takes care of all these machines that he uses to farm. And that's a really different approach. He's not spending all of his time on his knees, planting things, weeding things, harvesting things. All of those things here are done with machines. So I wanted to give you a tour of some of the machinery that Nathan keeps around on the farm, because he's literally got a different machine for every single possible task he's got on the farm. So this is a swather and its role is to cut the crop off the ground and pile it into neat little rows where it can be dried and picked up by the combine. The combine, combine harvester, picks the crop off, off the ground, threshes it, separates it, spits out grain at one end and all the chaff and the straw at the other. This is a dump truck. Yes, a dump truck is an agricultural tool because on a field of this size, it's the only way you're getting the crop off the field. And then how do you get it out of the dump truck? Well. This is an auger. The dump truck dumps the grain into the auger. The auger transports it up and pours it into those storage bins, which are, I don't know, 25 feet high. We just didn't have things like this in BC. We were carrying crops off the field in rubber-made bins. That doesn't happen here. Anyway, trying to film all these machines presents some pretty serious challenges to try and film them and I'm scrambling to keep up because I'm on foot and they're driving around in these big machines. So this is what's left of my microphone for me after I dropped it in the field and it went through the combine harvester. And uh, honestly, I'm kind of surprised that I found a piece this large because I just figured it would have been turned into little pea-sized dust, but I guess it got treated as chaff. Anyway, um, those are my adventures this week. It's a very different experience from the garden. Um, I've only scratched the surface here. You can subscribe to the YouTube channel to keep watching every week. Um, if you want to know more about what I'm filming, that's a documentary called The Hands That Feed Us, and you can subscribe to that at thehandsthatfeedus.ca, or you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And I'll see you next week.